Imagine for a moment, you have the power to travel through time. A compelling thought, isn't it? The ability to warp and weave through the tapestry of existence, to witness firsthand the rise and fall of civilizations, or perhaps to peer into the unfathomable future. This, my friends, is the allure of time travel. Our fascination with traversing time isn't a recent phenomenon, from H.G. Wells's The Time Machine to the thrilling escapades of Doctor Who, we've been captivated by the notion, the sheer possibility of journeying through time. These stories, while entertaining, often hint at a complex web of consequences, a myriad of paradoxes that arise when the past or future is altered. Consider Back to the Future, where Marty McFly accidentally intervenes in his parents' meeting, nearly erasing his own existence. Or the classic Star Trek episodes where the crew of the Enterprise stumbles into the past, desperately trying to fix what they've inadvertently changed. These tales serve as a cautionary reminder that tampering with time might lead to untold repercussions. But let's delve deeper. Picture this. You're a time traveler. You've ventured far into the past, to an era long before you were born. You're a silent observer, a shadow in history, careful not to disturb the delicate balance of events. But then, in a moment of distraction, you inadvertently alter something. A small action, perhaps as simple as moving a stone or stepping on a butterfly, but with potentially devastating consequences for the future. This is where the intricacies of time travel truly come to light. The butterfly effect, as it's often called, theorizes that even the smallest changes in the past can dramatically alter the course of the future. It's a daunting concept, isn't it? The idea that our every action, every choice, has the potential to reshape reality. But what if, in your adventures through time, you accidentally change something that shouldn't have been changed? A chilling question that we'll delve into as we unravel the mystery of the grandfather paradox. But for now, let's remember, time travel, while fascinating, is a journey fraught with peril and paradoxes. This brings us to a conundrum known as the grandfather paradox. Imagine, if you will, a scenario where time travel is not just a possibility, but a reality. Now suppose that someone, let's call him Tim, decides to embark on a journey back in time. However, Tim's motive is not to witness historical events or to seek wisdom from the past. Instead, he harbors a darker intention, to kill his own grandfather. This is where the paradox begins. By going back in time and killing his grandfather, Tim would effectively prevent his own birth. After all, if his grandfather dies before having children, Tim's parent, and subsequently Tim himself, will never be born. But if Tim was never born, how could he have traveled back in time to kill his grandfather in the first place? This loop, this impossible situation, is what we call the grandfather paradox. It's a thought experiment that challenges our understanding of time and causality. It suggests a contradiction between the idea of free will and the concept of a deterministic universe, where events are predetermined and unchangeable. Some propose that the paradox could be resolved by the universe splitting into two separate timelines, one where the grandfather lives and another where he dies. Others suggest that any action taken to change the past would inevitably fail, preserving a consistent history. Perhaps the universe itself would prevent such a paradox from occurring. Maybe the gun would jam, a sudden gust of wind would blow the bullet off course, or Tim would inexplicably miss his target. In essence, the universe would conspire to protect its own timeline, a concept known as the Novikov self-consistency principle. Yet all these are mere speculations, theories birthed from our limited understanding of time and its intricate complexities. The truth is, we just don't know. Could such a paradox even exist in reality, or is it merely a fiction of our imagination? The answer to that lies perhaps in the realm of the unknown, in the unfathomable depths of time itself. Until we master the art of time travel, the grandfather paradox will continue to be a perplexing enigma, a tantalizing mystery that defies our comprehension. Now, if we delve into the realm of theoretical physics, things get even more interesting. When we speak of time travel, two theories often emerge from the labyrinth of scientific thought. One, the multiverse theory, and the other, Einstein's theory of relativity. The multiverse. Theory postulates that there is not just one universe, but an infinite number of universes, collectively known as the multiverse. Each universe within the multiverse is said to be distinct, with its own laws of physics, its own history, and perhaps, its own dimensions of time and space. When applied to time travel, 
This theory suggests that if one were to travel back in time and change something, they wouldn't actually alter their own past, but instead create a new, distinct universe. This parallel universe would then follow a different timeline, free from the constraints of our grandfather paradox. On the other hand, we have Einstein's theory of relativity, a cornerstone of modern physics. This theory suggests that time is not a fixed, unchanging entity, but rather a dimension that can be manipulated and warped by gravity. The closer an object is to a source of gravity, the slower time moves for it. So if one could find a way to manipulate gravity, to create a strong enough gravitational field, they could theoretically slow down time or even reverse it, opening the door to the possibility of time travel. Both these theories, though speculative, offer intriguing possibilities for time travel while sidestepping the grandfather paradox. But they also raise more questions. If the multiverse theory is correct, could we ever visit these alternate timelines? Or are they forever beyond our reach, existing only in the realm of theoretical physics? And if the theory of relativity holds the key to time travel, what kind of technology would we need to manipulate gravity, a spaceship, a wormhole, or something entirely different? So, is the grandfather paradox a genuine concern for potential time travellers or could there be a way around it? These theories suggest there might be. But until we can put them to the test, the mysteries of time travel remain just that. Mysteries. Scientists have been grappling with these questions for years. The grandfather paradox has been a subject of intense scrutiny and fierce debate among the scientific community. There are two main schools of thought. Some scientists argue that time travel could be possible, while others insist it remains purely theoretical. Among those who believe in the feasibility of time travel, there's an interesting notion known as the many worlds interpretation. This quantum theory suggests that there are an infinite number of parallel universes where every possible outcome of an event is played out. So if you were to travel back in time and prevent your grandfather from meeting your grandmother, you would create a new branch of time. In this alternate reality, you may never be born, but your existence would continue unaltered in your original universe. On the flip side, there are scientists who consider time travel to be purely theoretical, confined to the realms of sci-fi novels and blockbuster movies. They point to the laws of physics as we currently understand them, stating that traveling back in time would violate these laws. These skeptics argue that the grandfather paradox is simply an illustration of these violations demonstrating the impossibility of time travel. However, there's a third group of scientists who argue for a self-consistency principle. They propose that any actions made by a time traveler would be in harmony with the events of their past. In the context of the grandfather paradox, this means that any attempts to alter the past would inevitably fail, maintaining the consistency of the timeline. Each of these perspectives brings its own compelling arguments to the table, grappling with the tantalizingly complex interplay of time, causality, and reality. Whether time travel is a tangible possibility or merely an intriguing thought experiment, it's clear that the grandfather paradox has sparked a fascinating debate within the scientific community. In essence, the grandfather paradox presents us with a riddle that we may never be able to solve. It's a testament to the enduring allure of time travel the enigma that continues to captivate us, leading us on a journey through the very fabric of time and space. Let's revisit the grandfather paradox with all we've learned. By now we've delved into the enigmatic world of time travel, marveled at the paradox that a man could travel back in time and possibly eliminate his own existence by causing the premature death of his grandfather. We've explored the theories that attempt to unravel this paradox and we've heard from the scientific community about the perplexing nature of time itself. So, let's return to our paradox, our man and his grandfather. Imagine our time traveler armed with knowledge of quantum mechanics and the theory of relativity. How would he approach the paradox now? Could he in fact change the past? The many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics suggests that he could. Each action, each decision, creates a branching point in time, a new universe. If our traveler were to act, he might merely create a new branch, a new world where his grandfather dies prematurely, but his own existence remains intact in the original timeline. But what of Einstein's relativity? It tells us that time is a dimension, much like the three spatial dimensions we're familiar with. We can move forward and backward in space, so why not time? 
Yet it also tells us that the past is as real as the present. If that's the case, then the past is immutable. Our man may travel back, but he cannot change what has already happened. So we're left with a paradox that remains a paradox. Science offers us tantalizing possibilities, but no definitive answers. There are theories, interpretations, but nothing concrete, not yet at least. Yet, as we ponder on this, a new question arises, one that is less about the mechanics of time and more about the ethics of the matter. Perhaps the real question is not whether we can change the past, but whether we should. After all, each moment in time, each decision, each action has shaped us, molded us into who we are today. To change the past is to change ourselves, and is that a responsibility we're ready to shoulder?